so far after the first loss of the season? We still got the same mood because we know we got everything in front of us still. So by week is this week is a work week for us. So we just come to work like it's a regular game day, regular game week. You're looking at the uh, you know pass protection. Jake was scrambling it there. You know had some pressure on him. And that. What do you think you guys can improve in that area and just fix up some things in that? Uh, like we said, the pass protection. So when we come to practice, like this week is about week. So work on pass protection. We don't have anybody to play this week. So like you like you said, it's coming from pressure from. Outside, wherever it's coming from, just work on pass protection a lot. Um, I think it was Charlie Wiener said that you know, there's been a lot of weird blitzes this year that he hasn't really recognized as in your past. Do you, do you agree with that or, or maybe not? Not too much, not too much, but not, yeah, not too much. It's, it's regular blitzes. Different people's come in from different angles, so that's probably the main thing. Being from Jacksonville, what are your memories of the Florida Georgia game growing up? <laughs> oh, this is great. It's a great, it's a great atmosphere. The whole city is. The whole that's when one time the whole city comes together, but you know we divide in parts. You got Florida Georgia fans. You know me, like I said, I'm from Florida, and all my family walked down the, walked down the neighborhood, got on all that Georgia stuff. So it's a great atmosphere, and I can't wait. To, can, can, we wait to can we back up to, to your injury against Vanderbilt? You got carted off. It yeah. looked it looked really bad. Yeah. What, what happened there? What did you feel, and when did you know you were okay? Um, it just really, I just really got rolled up on and. Really couldn't bend my, bend my knee like that and all type of stuff. But after I went to the locker room and everything, I kind of felt to get better. So you know, pushing through. How scared were you? I mean, were you thinking oh, yeah. that that could be it for the season? Oh yeah, for you? most definitely. I was very, very scared. What did you learn from the LSU loss? If there was a lesson to be learned, what was it? Humble. Got to stay humble. Keep eating and keep playing us and keep doing what we got to do. Oh um, man. As you talk about the response and bouncing back, I mean, a lot of people have talked about how this is like last year with Auburn, but um, it's also going to differ in terms of you don't have the, that senior leadership like Sony and Nick and Roquan and uh, Lorenzo and Davin. So how do you all kind of adjust to that? How do you all handle that? We got great leaders on the team like J.R. J.R. Reed, Ledbetter, Tay Crowder. We got... Lamont, all of them. We got great leads on the team, so when they left, they just took in no places, and we followed them behind it. Whatever they do, it's their team. We're going to follow them. And then uh, how do y'all use that last year as kind of an example of how y'all can bounce back? How we used last year, we really used that as an example. So we know what we had to do. We know what we took to get to that place. So now we know what we have to do this year. And like when we get there, just take that extra step to even win it at all. What have been some challenges for the offensive line with all the changes due to injury? How challenging has it been to develop chemistry? Oh, it's 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 not too it's not it's not too bad. We like we got one of the best the best offensive line coaches in the nation and one of the best head coaches in the nation. So we all prepare for that type of stuff every day in practice. We do situation where somebody goes down, he goes down, he got to get in the game. So it's really about the preparation that our coaches provide for us and what we do throughout the week. 